Roblox Bed Wars has a terrible ranked game mode, with so many issues that make the game mode extremely unfun to play. So today, I'm going to be highlighting the key issues that ruin this game mode. As we all know, ranked is a 5v5 game mode. Now this is a massive issue because finding a team of 4 other players is extremely difficult. Not to mention the fact that everyone has to be in a voice call actively strategizing plays, or you're pretty much guaranteed gonna lose. This is a big problem as finding a good team is nearly impossible. Bed Wars is the only game that I know that has a ranked game mode, but no solos. The reason for this is likely so their player base spends money on meta kits to win ranked games. Now keep in mind these issues will only get worse, with number one being by far the biggest issue, so you don't want to miss it. Ranked rewards are underwhelming. Let's look at last season. All we got were Evelyn kit skins, which were literally just recolored versions of the original. And most people think the gold one is the best, which is literally the lowest tier. Not to mention the nightmare emote, which makes you more of a target than a star creator. Also, there's a new vape exploit, which literally allows hackers to use the emote for free. I wish ranked rewards were actually useful, like a kit skin bundle, or even a free kit choice. Macroing, also known as auto-clicking, has become a normal thing in Roblox Bed Wars, and the advantage it gives is insane. You could be the best PvPer, but still be guaranteed a loss when facing against a macro user. Auto-clickers give such an unfair advantage, and they haven't made it clear if it's within the rules or not. A way this could be fixed is a bot that could help detect consistent click speed and disable the sword of that player temporarily. In other words, auto clickers click at a perfectly consistent speed, and this is something that only software can do, which can easily be detected by the game. With this in place, they could actually remove the CPS cap, as it would entirely fix auto clicking. Similar to macroing, Closet cheating is where a player uses exploits, but tries to seem like a regular player. Some of these exploits are completely undetectable, and you could use these on your main accounts and never have to worry about getting banned. Unfortunately, a large portion of the ranked player base uses these which allows them to easily win games without getting caught. And with how strict the moderators are about bans, these players almost never get banned. I can almost guarantee that at least a third of the leaderboard players uses some form of exploits, and the devs are helpless in this situation. While I do blame them for their terrible anti-cheat, I don't really blame them for closet cheaters. It's no secret that Bed Wars has a terrible community, but ranked is even worse. The players will often try to fake reports to get others banned, and it's overall a hateful place. Around a month ago, someone went and hacked some of the top leaderboard players, abusing Roblox's terrible moderation to get them banned. It was so bad that the developers had to remove the leaderboard for multiple weeks, which just shows how bad the ranked community is. Kits are by far the biggest issue with ranked. What kind of ranked game mode has paid advantages? Isn't ranked supposed to determine skill? Why would a game mode that ranks you based on skill have paid advantages? And it really does make a serious difference. Try getting Nightmare without using any kits. Now that's a serious challenge. All in all, ranked doesn't mean skill. It shows the ability to find teammates who spend money on meta kits. It shows the ability to use third-party software like auto-clickers and closet cheats. The biggest solution would really just be to add a ranked 1v1 game mode. Most games have this sort of system, and if added, could potentially delay the death of this game. But unfortunately, Bed Wars prioritizes money over user experience, and a solo's ranked mode wouldn't require players to constantly buy meta kits. And to those who are wondering, I'll still continue the Bronze to Nightmare series, but if I'm able to find a competent team. Anyways, if you want to help a small creator, feel free to subscribe, but I'm not here to force you.